What is up guys? Pure Soccer Lifestyle channel here again. My name's Sergio, in case you guys don't know. Um, bring another unboxing video for you guys. Um, just cover a couple things before we get started. For those of you who haven't tuned in before, this is your first time around. My name is Sergio, this is my channel. Um, like I said in other videos, I just do unboxing videos. Um, for right now, it's only soccer cleats, but I am working on more to do other things. Um, jerseys, I even do goalie gloves. I'll do whatever it is you guys want. That's what I'm here for, I'm doing it for you guys. So uh, just a couple things also cover before we get started into the unboxing video. This is my first time doing a pre-recorded video compared to a live unboxing video. Lately I have been doing unboxing videos, but haven't seen the turnaround ratio that I've been uh, expecting. And at the same time, I do do it at nighttime, so I know uh, everywhere else in the world it's either nighttime or it's really early, so I understand people can't tune in. I will be doing more pre-recorded videos. That is if you guys want that. Uh, if you guys want me to go to the live unboxing, I will do that. That was the whole point of this video, or this channel, to do live unboxing videos, so that way you guys can tune in and actually ask your questions about the cleats. Like I said in other videos, this is what I would have wanted growing up, is to do live unboxing or watch live unboxing videos so that way I can actually ask the questions there live um, so I don't have to use the cleat. And you guys know how it is with cleats. Uh, once you use them, you can't return them. So once they're used, they're yours to wear. So that's the whole point of doing this channel right here as for now. But uh, another thing to cover is, if you guys aren't subscribed to me yet, please subscribe. Subscribe to me on Instagram, Twitter on uh, Instagram Pure Soccer Lifestyle on Twitter it's Pure Soccer Life and then where well, you guys follow me on uh, YouTube now so if you guys don't already subscribe please subscribe I will have more coming but um so yes please subscribe uh, turn on post notifications that way you guys know when video videos are coming and definitely let people know about it tag your friends uh, so just just stay tuned guys I'm definitely bringing more um, anything else I will definitely let you guys know so. Without further ado, let's get into this unboxing video. So as you can see from the title, this is the Nike Hyperven 3 Elite um, from the Stealth Ops pack. I know some people call it Black Ops, Stealth Ops. Like wherever, where I've been seeing it, it's been from the Stealth Ops pack. So, here's the boots. Now, from the other Stealth Ops video pack, uh, boots that I've, un that I've unboxed, you know, this is the box, what it looks like. So, I'm not gonna get too much into it. And then you got the Nike on the side, Nike logo, sizing. It's focusing. Got this in a 10 and a half because that is what I normally am. So just to start off, these boots do run a little bit smaller, I would say, because normally I am a 10. Um, and lately I've been having to get 10 and a halfs in these. Look at that. And I'm telling you, cleats are always better in person. I say this in, in every video, I know I sound like a broken record, but it, it's true. They just always are better than cleats, no matter what. So, in the box, you got your two cleats. Put those here. Put those off. Then you got the wrapping. Protect them. You got the bag. I'm glad Nike and have actually been coming back with the bags because growing up, that's what we have. Let's put them in there, and I know they stopped for a little bit, but they got those hypervenom texture pads that they have on the piece too. Also says hypervenom and a little different. Hopefully that's focusing. So yeah, and of course it's got the uh, the bag in there with the zips. Let's get into these bad boys. So I'm gonna be honest, I've never owned a pair of hypervenoms. Never. I've owned like total 90s and stuff because I know where these eventually branched off, but I've never owned some hyperventus. Hopefully that's in the shot. Alright, so um, there's going to be like videos I'm playing while I'm speaking, but at the same time I'll still show you up close. Kind of did like a, uh, a cinematic shot, so I'll definitely add those in so you guys get a closer look. But um, let's start from the outside of the boot. So this boot, the hypervenom has the full fly neck construction, 360 they say. Now I don't know how accurate that is because if you look on the inside here, you have basically like this material there. Let's see if that focuses. Now I don't know what that is. It's like a rubber type of material. 
Now that goes on the inside of the boot and it stops to about like right here. And then the rest of the boot, it's just like a, uh, like a softer, not a soft rubber, cause this is soft rubber here on this part right here. It's soft rubber, it's a comfortable feel too. But underneath on the inside, um, I'm not too sure what material that is, but I'll tell you what, it's very thin. It is a very thin material that they put here. <clears throat> they say it's flying in construction cause I'm reading it here off of Nike's website. So word for what they say is, Innovative Flyknit wraps your foot fully, combining areas of high breathability, stretch, and support for the ultimate second skin fit. So, now I know for sure that this is gonna be Flyknit, um, that area there. And it's just like if you've wore the, the tiempos, they have that area there where it's just gonna be like where the laces should be. And I have the, the tiempos, the black ones that came out when the first black pack came out after those platinum tiempos, those were amazing. I have the black ones after that and this part right here is amazing. I don't even tie my shoe laces because it's such a snug fit. At the same time, I have a high arc so it's already putting a lot of pressure on that fly knit area. So it's, I never tie my laces on the tiempos and I play perfectly fine. <clears throat> so that, that's what this is, it's lock down your foot. Um, also with the hyperventims, you have the fly wire lockdown. So I guess to include that maybe if this isn't already, this flannel area isn't gonna help lock down your foot in this boot, that fly wire will. So as you tie your laces, as you can see, those fly wires are there and those go all the way down to the base of the boot. So no matter how hard you pull on these, it's gonna stay there. So that, that's what those are and that's what the fly wire technology is. And it's pretty neat because it comes from both ways. So let's see if I can get that zoomed in there. Hopefully that zoom in. It's gonna come in and out a little bit, so I know it's focusing. But yes, that's where the fl fly wire uh, lockdown base system comes in. Now I don't know how well it works because, like I said, I've never worn these like to play. I mean, I've tried them on; very comfortable, a lot more comfortable than I thought they would be. Um, I don't know. I've just never been a hypervenom fan. Like when the first hypervenom came out, I was a fan. Didn't even have a pair of those though. I just saw that they broke way too easily and it was just cheap material, I felt like. But I saw what they were going for. They were going for that thin feel so there's nothing in between your foot and the ball. And I mean, they were still quality boots, I, I, what I heard from. They just broke really easily. But um, that's basically what they brought back here. But now, a little bit differently. And now I don't know if they're gonna discontinue this line or keep going on. What I've read is they're gonna make like a Hyper Venom Vision or something. Cause they got a Phantom Vision. I think they're going on another route with the hy uh, with the Hyper Venom Phantom. So, well, the Hyper Venom, sorry. So yeah, that's the fly, fly wire lockdown, uh, I guess technology you can say. Um, so you're still gonna have your all conditions control. Now I don't know uh, how much the all condition control works, but like with my Diemples, they have all condition control, but I don't know, I feel it's just a gimmick by Nike just to say it's something better that they have on the boot just to hike up the prices, but. So I mean, if they are talking about the flower, if you can see here, it almost looks like a checkerboard. It's like, it looks knitted almost. It's very interesting, I haven't seen that on a boot before. But um, as far as that being like helping you grip the ball and stuff like that, it's not even gonna matter because it's inside these paddings there. Like if you look real close, I can give you a better example here, like here. Like yeah, you can see them when they're there, but the padding is raised above that, so it's not even really gonna be effective at all, I feel. Uh, enhanced touch, they say. Engineered texture in the strike zone helps optimize shot velocity. So that's gonna be these bad boys here. And what it feels like, it just feels like uh, like bubbles almost, like stiff bubbles. Like usually like uh, bubbles you can squeeze them so they give away a little bit. These ones don't give away too much. So I'm sure that that's gonna help you when you strike a ball. Uh, maybe take a lot less pressure off when you hit it. Um, I don't know how I'd feel about that, but you know, Harry Kane wears, wears these and he scores a lot of goals, so I mean, it must be saying something. So yeah, that's gonna be the enhanced touch, uh, engineered texture in the strike zone. So, but it's interesting because it goes all around the boot. So now I don't think that these are gonna help you with a better curve or anything like that. I think this is just their like, uh, when they had the CTR 360s, they had those little patty in there. It's just something extra. So that's what that is. Um, so they say the tongueless design is gonna help uh, help reduce distractions. 
Um, asymmetric lacing system expands the ball control area and strike zone. So it's going to be here. And that's what like a lot of cleats are going with nowadays, that, uh, that laceless strike zone in there. And it's neat because I don't know if this is able to do it, but it like shimmers this Nike sign, the heel part, uh, not so much the s studs, but it's, it's an interesting like shimmer to it. I'm gonna see if maybe the lighting can get that. It's almost like a glitter on there. It's pretty interesting. So it says here, interior heel counter cups your foot for secure lockdown. Like it says that, but I don't really see one. And if it does have one, it doesn't protrude nearly as much as the others. I guess I can kind of feel it, but it isn't as exaggerated as the other. So it's like, if you don't like something that's touching your heel or like those protrusions in the heel section, then these are definitely be the boots to get because the other ones are a lot more exaggerated than these ones are. Flywire cables wrap your midfoot for stability during lateral cuts. So that's what that is. If you move, it's still gonna hold down your foot apparently. At least helps. Um, foam pods in the strike zone dampen impact and return energy. Okay, so see that makes a little more sense of what it is. Um, so like receiving the ball in these, it's gonna help release that such, I guess, a big, like if you have a bad touch, it's not gonna be as exaggerated as what these are basically gonna help you for. So that's what those are. Hyper reactive plate features a flexible forefoot for responsive stability. So that's gonna be these bad boys. Hyper reactive. Now I don't really know if it's gonna be that way, but I'll tell you what, this sole is a lot more stretchier than the, uh, gives way more, I'm sorry, flexible. It is more flexible, the sole compared to like, the vapors and the superflies. Pretty neat though. So they even got like extra grooves there. I guess maybe to help you cut off that grass or the firm ground that you're playing on. The studs are pretty interesting too. I hope that is focusing because God, that would be terrible if I'm just sitting here and like, hey, look at this, and you guys can't even see it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the stud pattern. Very neat. And yes, um, to sum it up, Flyknit constructed upper integrates areas of hybrid ability, stretch and support, just like I basically told you guys. Um, yeah. Chevron and hexagonal studs provide targeted traction for agile attacking movement. So that's basically it. This is your Hypervenom Phantom. I think so, right? Hypervenom 3s, these to be called Phantoms at least. Nike Hypervenom 3s Elite firm ground black slash black black on black so yes guys if you're looking for comfort and uh i guess a good cleat to strike the ball then i would recommend these yes so if you're looking for comfort looking for a good cleat to strike the ball like striker or maybe a attacking mid or a winger to cut in and shoot and hit it and these are definitely recommended um like i said for fit they're they run a little bit small so i would say go half size up um, but other than that, these are them guys. So any qu any questions, comments, concerns, uh, pointers, constructive criticism, please leave them in the comment section guys. Like I said, I'm doing this for you guys. For all for you. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that, but yeah, anyway. So yes, um, like the video if you like it, comment, share it with your friends. Share guys, definitely share coming with more don't even sweat it don't worry subscribe subscribe guys and turn post notifications on wherever it is around here i think it's up there i think i don't know if this video is gonna flip anyway subscribe turn post notifications on all right if you guys want to see more <clears throat> please let me know what you guys want to see more of i'm definitely going to go get some new cleats tomorrow i don't know which ones i'm going to get i know those rising fire packs came out i think yesterday today actually in store yeah so maybe i might hit one of those i don't know but okay thanks again guys this is pure soccer lifestyle sergio i'll see you guys soon